Hello, welcome to Chatting with Chitness. I'm Dr. Salil Chitness. I'm a pediatric emergency medicine physician, and we're going to be talking about pediatric medical education. We got a very exciting video, so let's get chatting. Today, we're going to be talking about allergic reactions. I'm going to go through what it is, what to look for, how to treat it. In the end, I'm going to have a demonstration on how to use an EpiPen, so your parents out there, if you're nervous about using it, Hopefully by the end of the video, you'll feel more comfortable if you have to use it. I hope you never have to. So let's first talk about what an allergic reaction is. So allergic reaction is basically when your own body is kind of doing something it shouldn't be doing, which means your immune system is attacking things that aren't really supposed to hurt us, but it thinks it is hurting us, so it attacks them. And then that whole process of attacking this allergen, what we say, causes all the symptoms that you get with allergic reaction. That's why some people have them and some people don't, and some people are allergic to some things and other people are allergic to other things. What are some things we look for in allergic reaction? So the most common thing is usually a rash. We call it hives. It's like a raised, itchy rash. It can happen anywhere on the body. Uh, it's very annoying, it's very uncomfortable. Sometimes you can get some swelling of the lips, swelling of the eyelids. So that's one of the main things we see, and that's actually um, pretty safe. Uh, the rash and the swelling doesn't really cause anything bad. It's just more of a nuisance. Um, other things that can happen more with food allergens is GI issues. So your kid could have vomiting, they could have diarrhea. That's a little more serious. And then the most serious, of course, is if your child has any difficulty breathing. And this could happen from swelling of the tongue, which makes it hard to breathe, swelling of the throat, which makes it hard to breathe, or just swelling in the lungs, which makes it hard to breathe and they'll have wheezing. So that is the most dangerous of the allergic reactions. Um, there's a word that we use called anaphylaxis, and that means either your child is having difficulty breathing or they have vomiting, diarrhea, and the rash. So if your kid can't breathe or they're vomiting or they have diarrhea and they have a rash, then you need to go to the emergency department because that's a more severe allergic reaction that needs further management, especially with adrenaline. So what are the treatments we use for allergic reactions? So the mainstay of treatment is Benadryl. The dose is one milligram per kilogram. Uh, with a max of 50 milligrams every six hours. And that's kind of what you can use for those rashes and the fa facial swelling. Um, and you could get by with just that. Now, when you have those more severe allergic reactions that could maybe cause difficulty breathing or the vomiting or the diarrhea, that's really when we start to use steroids. But in order to use steroids, you really need to see a medical professional. Um, and then the hallmark of treatment if your kid cannot breathe is the EpiPen or the adrenaline pen. Um, if you are worried that your child's allergic reaction is severe, then you should be carrying that with them wherever they go. I usually recommend having one in their backpack. So when they're at school, they always have one and then having another one at home. All right, parents, I'm gonna show you how to use an EpiPen. So the way that this works is the orange side has the needle. So don't hold it like this or you're gonna get epi in your thumb and then you could lose your thumb. The blue side is the safety cap. So as long as the safety cap's on, you can't activate the, um, the epi pen um, for safety reasons. So if you have to use it and you only use it if your child is having difficulty breathing, you're gonna remove uh, the safety cap and then you grab it like this and you're going to stab your child in the thigh on the side and hold for 10 seconds straight and then you can remove it. So I'll show you right now. So you just hold it, you stab it, and you hold it for 10 seconds. You can actually go through two pairs of jeans, no problem, you don't have to take the clothes off. After that, there's a safety mechanism so you can't get poked with it again. If you do use an EpiPen, you should take your child to the emergency department because this only lasts for a little bit and if the allergic reaction comes back and you don't have another one, um, you're gonna be stuck. So that's it for allergic reaction. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave any comments so we can chat about it next time on Chatting with Chitness.